Uh, feels great, especially coming all the way to New Zealand, really getting a chance to uh, see the world here. So it's pretty cool fighting the best guys in the world and getting some wins over them. Uh, you know, I said it before going into this fight with two split decisions. I didn't want it to go that way again, but man, uh, I'll find out a way to stop making this happen, but it feels good to get the win. How confident when you're when they were going through and you're hearing the judges counts and, and then you hear his name get called when it goes to the third judge, would you confident that you did enough in those first two rounds? I, I did feel pretty confident. Um, I could see how it would be possibly a 29-28. I know some of those rounds were close. Uh, I was making some good transitions out of some bad spots, and I felt doing a little bit more damage than he was. I uh, felt like I was winning the exchanges on the feet, so I, th I felt pretty confident going into it. When the judges started to read the scorecards and it was a split, I wasn't surprised, but uh, it felt good to get the win. I thought I had it. Even though it went to the split, how happy are you overall with the overall performance of, of, of how you did? Like, how closely did you stick to the game plan, and what was the game plan for him? You know, uh, I didn't really have, like, a totally set game plan. Um, I felt a good I felt like I did a good job of really kind of reading him on the feet and picking my shots a little bit. He started to do a really good job of timing the takedowns at opportune times and was able to nail that one in the third round. He did a really good job of keeping his in line his head in line with my head so it was really hard to move him. Obviously a really solid grappler, great base, so he was hard to shake. Most guys I just get right up from underneath, especially with the wall being right next to me. So I felt like I worked on that quite a bit in my three-week preparation for this guy, and I wasn't able to do it the, as well as I thought I would, so there's still plenty for me to work on, but he did a really good job too. And you speak of traveling over here and the excitement of that. So it's obviously something that you like to do, and is there something unique about coming and challenge the, the unique challenge of going overseas to different places that you like? Is that something that you'd like to keep doing? Yeah, uh, one of the, the biggest reasons why I got into this sport, um, I think it's a global sport. you know. Um, Everybody loves fighting wherever you come from. And uh, the UFC employs the best fighters in the world. And in order to fight those guys, you're going to have to travel. And I, I like that opportunity to see the world and really get that opportunity to go around and fight the best guys out there. You know, it's not an American sport where uh, all we're doing is just traveling in our country. Uh, we're really getting the opportunity to fight guys from all over the world. So it's pretty cool. How's, that, how's New Zealand been to you? I mean, you know, it's such a town so big. There's rugby going on around. I mean, the people recognize the fact that people understand what the UFC is when, you, when you've gone around and people said, hey, what are you here for? I knew the people from down under here really love this sport, and it really does show true when you're walking around. Um, I was in Brazil last November fighting. I thought that was cool, but sorry, Brazilians. Uh, New Zealand blows, this, it blows it out of the water. So they're really cool fans. It's really a great location, and I'd love to be back next time the UFC comes. Very cool. How do you celebrate the win? Oh, man, you know, I, I've, I haven't really had that much time to prepare for this fight, but it was a really condensed, hardcore uh, three-week training camp, so a cheeseburger would be pretty nice. <laughs> Me and my man Solo over here, we're going to go crush some <laughs> double cheeseburgers, I think. I like it. Well, uh, how soon do you want to get back in the octagon? Maybe try to get another fight before the end of the year, and is there uh, any name, any people that uh, maybe on the Surprisingly, list? Surprisingly, you know, this grueling uh, split round, uh, split three-round decision, I feel pretty injury-free, so I'm ready to get back in there as soon as possible. Um, I have always got my eyes out on some people, but it looks like they're all kind of getting matched up here in the next couple months, so I'm just going to keep training, keep getting better, and whoever the UFC has for me, let's do it again.